Hello, boys and girls. How are you? I've missed you so much. I have been talking to all of your teachers at the different schools, and they all miss you very much and wanted me to give a big hello to you from them and send you your, their love. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating the next project for the country, Peru. Um, we had all worked on our rainbow mountains and our llamas, or if you didn't finish it, you got it started, or maybe you started talking about it, but I don't think anybody started the textile project yet, so I'm going to start on that one today. But before that, I wanted to just let you know that if you're one of Miss Sabatini's students, she says hello and sends her love. You Westview guys, Miss Rudwall says hello. Miss Rudolph sends her love. Miss Perlman, Miss Chrissy, Miss Pacenti, they all wanted me to tell you hello. And um, I know that you miss seeing them. I know that you probably miss getting messy in the art room. So this next project, moms and dads, if you're watching too, is um, a little bit more simple and I decided to go ahead with it because it uses supplies that most of you will have at home and that is a wonderful thing and if you don't have it at home I'm going to suggest some modifications at the end so that um, you can keep keep moving along now the rest of the curriculum that I have planned for this semester as long as we're out of school I'm just going to start delivering it like this via video I'm going to try to get a a website set up where you guys can come in or at least a page or a landing page or something where you guys can come in and get your content. I struggle. Do I want to do a Facebook Live? Do I want to Zoom? Do I want to just have video? And I thought, you know, those things are kind of tricky when you have to be there at a certain time or sometimes the technology glitches. So, and you guys know I'm not a techno brilliant person. So I'm gonna go with just straight up basic videos. I'm gonna upload them to the web and I'm gonna put them in a nice safe place where you guys can look at them at your convenience. And then they can rewind and go back over parts if they need to as well. Or maybe you get through the first 10 minutes and then the sun comes out. Oh my gosh, all this rain. So run out and play in the sun and then come back in, in you know, whenever it's more convenient. So you can break it up and chop it up that way and that's kind of what I've decided would work the best now that being said um, I wanted to give you some extra too so we're gonna go through our countries and those that require a lot of supplies that we might not um, have at home like um, if we get to a country and I had one thing planned I'm gonna go ahead and modify it. I'm gonna stay with that country, but I'm gonna modify the lesson so that it's something you can do at home. And then I'm also gonna go off track and not just do the countries because there's a lot of things that are fun that you guys can be doing at home. And so I'm gonna be uploading two lessons a week instead of just one. So you're gonna have your regular lesson that goes along with our curriculum that I have planned. And then I'm gonna throw in bonus material and stuff and different things, different projects you can do. It is my goal to drop videos on Mondays and Thursdays. Okay, that is my goal. Mondays, I want to drop your regular curriculum that has to do with your countries that we're traveling to. And on Thursdays, I wanna drop something fun. Now, if I get behind, I'll shoot you an email and maybe it'll come out on Friday, but I'm gonna try really hard to stick to that schedule so you guys can plan your home learning around that as well. And then we'll go from there. Now, there's something else that I've been cooking up for the past few months and it's not ready yet, but I'm going to let you know about that here pretty soon, but I don't wanna let the cat out of the bag on that one yet because I'm still working out details, but boy, is it gonna be exciting. So I will let you know that one soon and um, we'll go from there. Um, this is not the most ideal way to do art with you guys, but it could be really fun because I do love the part where you can rewind and fast forward if it's easy and, or rewind if you need to see something again. So let's just get started, okay? I'm gonna be working at this table in my studio. I'm recording from above too, so I will be switching back and forth between talking and saying hi and then the demonstration part. But right now, I want to show you um, some textiles from Peru. Now, this is some beautiful textiles from Peru. You can see how they are woven with bright colors and beautiful patterns. I'm gonna lay it right here too, so if I choose to go from above, you can see all the colors. 
Here's another one that zooms in a little closer with some lovely patterns. Very beautiful. Now, this one shows a woman in Peru who's actually weaving. And this is how they have done it. And this is how they've done it traditionally for years. Um, this is a special kind of loom that was invented in Peru. And boys and girls, they have been weaving in Peru for over 10,000 years. Yeah, you heard me right, 10,000 years. So it is the country where textiles and weaving of fabric and cloth has the oldest history that we know about. Um, most civilizations, the earliest things we know about were ceramics, which as you remember is clay, and um, vessels, bowls, and things that were used in society, and tools, where they learned to make tools to use, um, you know, every day to like make their food and, and carve things and all that. But in Peru, we've got textiles dating back over 10,000 years, which is amazing. And it's one of the most interesting things about Peru. Now, I'm also sending you a PDF. Um, kids, that just means a bunch of papers. And you can download them and look at them, or your mom can print them, or your dad, or whoever. Or you can just look at them on screen if you want. And um, I put all kinds of fun facts about Peru in there too, so check that out. Now, one more that I printed out because I thought it was beautiful. Check this one out. Aren't these patterns amazing? These are some very common patterns in textiles in Peru also. So, we are going to make, you guessed it, textile design on paper though. We're not gonna um, do it on cloth. We're gonna do it on paper. And I made a sample here and I decided to do it rounded, kind of like it was woven in a circle, like maybe a rug or something was woven. And um, it's really fun and you can't mess this up. It's super cool and you're gonna love it. I'm also going to give you, I've just done some simple little shapes that repeat and that makes some of our textile patterns. So I'm gonna show you that as well and we will get going and I'll show you how to work it. Now, before we get started, moms and dads and grandmas and whoever else is helping you guys, aunts, uncles, babysitters, whoever, you're gonna need a plate, okay? Um, I've got paper plates, but you can use a plastic plate, a dinner plate, anything, because what you want is a circle template. So, you're gonna need some, something to trace a circle off of. So mine is right here. Oops, I better double check. I just moved my thing. Let me make sure that it's still in the camera because this is all new to me, guys. Oh, it stopped recording. Hang on. I'm glad I checked, guys. It had totally stopped recording. This is new to me. You guys are just gonna think I'm nuts. But yay, now we can see from up top. Forgive me, okay? Now, this is real, guys. So I'm just doing the best I can. You know what'll be fun is after a few of these lessons, maybe I'll even get better. You know, so take this and we're going to put it down in the center of our page. And if it's off center a little, that's okay. I like to hold it still with one hand and then trace around with the other. And that is basically what a template does. Okay, so right like that. I'm going twice because I like a nice thick line. Boys and girls, I'm using a Sharpie. If you don't have a Sharpie at home, use um, a pencil or an ink pen. What you do not want to use is a um, water-based marker. So if you have markers like these, these kind, we all love these. The super tips, you know, these Crayola guys, don't use these unless they are the kind that are not washable and they're not water smushy-wishy. So what I would 
recommend is get a piece of scratch paper, get an envelope from the mail or something, mark on the paper, and then take your finger, dip it in the water or paintbrush and kind of brush over there and see if it runs. If it runs, then don't use it, okay? Unless, unless you don't have watercolor paint at home. So that is why. So we are going to do this with Sharpie or pencil or pen. Then we are going to do some details in crayon. And then I was going to have us brush some watercolor over the top. Now, if you don't have watercolor at home, see if you have food coloring and you can put a little food coloring in some water and dissolve it and brush that over the top, okay? Now, if you don't have either of those, then don't worry about, you can use any markers you have then because we're not gonna be putting water over the top, okay? Does that make sense? So if you do have watercolor paint or you do have food coloring, then you want to use a Sharpie or a pencil or a pen for this part. If you don't have paint or, or food coloring, then just use markers and crayons or colored pencils. And you're just gonna add your color however you want with those things. Does that make sense? Okay. Moving on to the learning part. So we've got that and it's really cool, right? So now we need another circle. Oh my goodness, I came over here to my workstation and I didn't bring all my circles. Okay, so, oh, I've got one. A roll of tape. Look around your house, find some circle templates. So we're going to get that centered. I'm gonna hold it again. Okay, I'm gonna go again, make sure I get it nice and dark. Ta-da, looks like a wheel now. Okay, so I like that size. Let's see what else I can find. Hmm. Oh, that's a little bit smaller, so let's go in there. And let's go around. Trace again. Oh, I like that. Let's see. Oh, I see one more. You guys are gonna think I'm nuts my colored pencil one, but it's full. So let's do this. I promise I'll get better one day, but I'm learning, right? And I'm having fun. This project is a lot of fun because you don't have to get all nervous and stressed out about getting it just perfect because you can't mess it up. It's full of circles and fun patterns and then lots of colors. Ooh, that's pretty. There was dirt in my bucket and it spilled on my paper. Okay, I think I have enough now. And so now I'm just gonna put one myself. I'm gonna put one right there. Once you get a few on there, then you can kind of see and make some thicker and some thinner. I wanna put another thin one right there, just like that. Oh, look, it's not exactly perfect. Do you think I'm going to cry about that? Nope. It's good enough. Boy, that made some crazy noise, didn't it? Okay, so that's enough. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, 